Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a tungsten carbide tip cutter, TCT. Take a look at it right there. What this basically is, is a hole saw, one piece hole saw, that uh, has tungsten carbide tips welded on it. They're great for repeatability. Uh, what we recommend is, first of all, lubricating your piece of work. It extends to life. Secondly, place a washer underneath where you're, where you're going to begin your cut. So when you plunge through with your pilot bit, your, your uh, TCT cutter tips don't bind and break the uh, pilot, nor do they uh, snap the tips off the, off the cutter. So we have lubrication. Third thing I want to touch on all the time is protective eyewear. It's very, very important. Fourth thing would be make sure you're drilling at a good speed where you see chips coming up off of it. If you're drilling too quickly, it's no good. You have to try to find that sweet spot. That's why a variable speed drill is excellent. And here we go. We're drilling the pieces of some steel. And these are terrific cutters. They drill with a uh, tremendous amount of repeatability. We're going to go through with our pilot bit as we drill. Okay. All right. Holding up. All right. We have a little bit more work to do. That's a thick washer. We ask the operator to go through nice and easy so he doesn't shatter the bed. No pressure on that, guys. One screw shortly. There it goes. Okay, okay. As you can see, it's a deep hole. We have a little bit more to go. Check how deep we are. Are we out of depth on that, Danny? I think we bottomed out. Okay. We're going to finish this cut from the other side of the material. These come in three different depths. Unfortunately, we went through a big piece of steel, but I think you guys get the picture. It's making short work of this. Fortunately, if this is the cutter that you have, you can reverse the mark, go through in the same pilot, and you'll make short work of the cut. Oil. A little bit of uh, lubrication, and you should be good to go. Should rip right through. Yeah, if you're going down easy, remember plunging in is where they usually tend to break. And now we're going to make sure we're going to get the lift off. There's our plug on the ground ejected. And there is our hole. Now you guys saw how long that took. This is some thick steel. This has to be probably 3-8 steel. And uh, we made short work of it. These are available at Whole Saws Unlimited. www.wholesawsunlimited.com H-O-L-E-S-A-W-S Unlimited U-N-L-I-M-I-T-E-D dot com And I hope this was uh, an informative video. Call if you have any questions. If you can go through this this quickly, you can go through any kind of a short, uh, thinner steel in uh, a fraction of the time. Thanks for watching the video. And uh, always remember, lubrication and eye protection. Take care.